Hey everyone, today's it is about one, a villain breaks into your house and you're alone while you're pregnant. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And if you're overly scared for YN, please don't. Nothing bad will happen. Baku and Katsuki, I mean Baku and Kirishima, what the heck? They will get there on time. I'm out of breath. I was, I was dancing around the room again. Help me, please. Anyways, let's get going. You're sitting in the living room, your fingers absentmindedly, tracing patterns on your slightly bulging belly. The soft hum of the evening surrounds you, as you revel in the serenity of your cozy home. Baku and Kirishima have been nothing short of amazing throughout your pregnancy, dotting on you every step of the way. As the sun sets, casting an amber glow over your living room. You feel a sudden chill down your spine. The hair on your arm stands an end, and instantly, you clutch your belly protectively. Something is wrong. Your senses sharpen as you hear an ominous, creaking sound, like a floorboard being stepped on. Your heart pounds in your chest as fear curses through you. Who's there? You call out, your voice trembling. There is no response, just a near silence that seems to stretch on forever. Panic wells up inside you as you realize that you're home alone, and there's probably an intruder in your house. Fear knows at your insides, and you can't tell but think about the life growing inside you. You quickly dial Baku's number, tears welling up in your eyes. Bakugo, please hurry home. There's someone in the house. You whisper frantically. I'm on my way. Just hang in there. Bakugo's voice crackles through the phone. The reassurance in his tone helps you calm down a little. But you're still terrified. Suddenly, you hear heavy footsteps approaching. And your heart leaps into your throat. You retreat to a corner, clutching your phone tightly. The intruder steps into the living room, and you gasp, recognizing his face from news reports. A notorious villain. What do we have here? The villain sneers, his gaze locked onto you. You tremble, but muster the courage to speak. Get out of my house. You demand, your voice quivering. Before the situation can escalate further, you hear a thunderous explosion from outside. Followed by a crash, Baku's voice echoes through the house as he yells, Stay away from them, you bastard. In a blur of red and black, Kirishima and Bakugo burst into the room, their hero costumes adorned with fury determination. The villain barely has time to react before Baku's explosive blasts fling him against the wall, immobilizing him. Kirishima rushes to your side, Worry etched across his face as he takes in your trembling form. Are you okay? He asks, his hand gently cradling your cheek. You nod, tears streaming down your face. I am now. You both came just in time. Baku approaches, his anger still simmering as he wraps you in a tight embrace. No one misses our family. He growls protectively. With the villain apprehended, the three of you share a moment of relief. Baku and Kirishima's unwavering support, both as heroes and as loving partners, has once again proved to be your greatest strength. You know that with them by your side, you can face anything that comes your way, even the most terrifying of villains. As the authorities arrive to take the villain to custody, you hold them to Baku and Kirishima, feeling the warmth of their love and protection wash over you. Your unborn child, safe and sound, will grow up surrounded by the love and bravery of two incredible heroes who would do anything to keep your family safe. In the aftermath of the ordeal, Baku and Kirishima stay close by your side, ensuring your safety and well-being. They exchange serious glances, both relieved that they arrived in time to protect you and your unborn child. The three of you sit on the couch, the tension in the air gradually giving way to a sense of security. You're really okay? 
Curse you asked again, his worry evident in his eyes. He smiled weakly, wiping away your tears. I am. Um, thanks to both of you. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come in time. Marco's grin in your hand tightens, his crimson eyes never leaving yours. Damn right, it was come in time. No one messes with our family. He repeats, his voice resolute. As the heroes of your heart, Bakugo and Kurishima are both fiercely protective, and this instant only solidified the depths of their love and devotion to you and your unborn child. The authorities soon finished their work, and the villains taken away in restraints, leaving your home once again a place of peace. Bakugo and Kurishima spend the night with you, wanting to ensure you feel safe. They take turns cuddling with you on the couch, their strong arms wrapped around you as you drift off to sleep. In the days that follow, they install extreme security measures in your home, determined to prevent any further threats. You watch as Marco sets up alarms and cameras outside, while Kirishima works on reinforcing the windows and doors. Their teamwork and dedication amaze you, and you can't help but feel even more grateful for having them in your life. Throughout your pregnancy, Bakuro and Kirishima continue to shower you with love and support. They attend every doctor's appointment with you, marveling at the ultrasound images of your growing child. They even have friendly arguments about potential baby names, their excitement palpable. As the days turn into weeks and your due date approaches, you can't help but reflect on the terrifying night when a villain threatens your family. But you also remember the unwavering heroism of Baku and Kurishima, who came to your rescue without hesitation. With them by your side, you know that your child will grow up in a world filled with love, bravery, and two incredible heroes who would do anything to keep their family safe. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. How are you? I am fine. Um, I'm not actually really fine. Why? Because school is coming up. I'm not really anxious because I've I've been socializing more, going out more and stuff like that, so it's not so bad. But then again, I'm scared of studying. It's like it's like a phobia. I, I don't even know how to explain it anymore. Yeah, a phobia would be the best way to explain it, to be honest. Well, anyways, thank you guys for listening to my video and my ranting and everything really and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me, please. I beg of you. Well, anyways, thank you guys for listening and goodbye. Have fun with your life. Bye-bye. Love you.